हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जो है निंजास सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नेविगेशन बार सी एस एस नेविगेशन बार नेविगेशन बार इज द यू आई एलिमेंट ऑन अ वेब पेज दैट इंक्लूड्स लिंक्स फॉर द अदर सेक्शन ऑफ द वेबसाइट आ नेविगेशन बार इज मोस्टली डिस्प्लेड ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द पेज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हर जॉन्टल लिस्ट ऑफ लिंक्स it is important for a website to have easy to use navigation with the help of navigation bar visitors to visit any section quickly a navigation bar is basically a list of links so we can use ul tag and li tags in this example we use unordered list and in between that we use list of links in some early versions html link tag is used to construct a navigation bar to navigate websites today the nav tag can be used for the same purpose in html5 navigation elements are enclosed in nav tag that containing a list of links here we use the nav tag in between that we use unordered list and in between that we use list of links there are two ways to create navigation bar first is horizontal and next is vertical navigation bar first is horizontal navigation bar so the horizontal navigation bar is a horizontal list of links which is generally on the top of the page there are two ways to create a horizontal navigation bar by using display inline property and float left property first we use the display property and values inline li elements are block elements by default we remove the line break before and after each list item to display them in one line so in this example we use the display property and values inline that is used for horizontal navigation bar and next is float left use float property to get block element to float next to each other so we use the float property and value is live left if you want to write align links by changing the value to the right next is vertical navigation bar to create a vertical navigation bar list of links are present at the side of the screen you can style the a elements inside the list so here is the example l is a list and a is a link and first we use the display property and block is a value block value is used to add vertical navigation bar you can also adjust the width of the navigation bar so we use the width property and set the value so display block displaying the links as block element makes the whole link clickable and it allows us to specify the width block elements take up full width available by default so we can adjust the width by using width property so first we can take one example open the sublime text editor and in body section we make list of links here we use the nav tag in between that we use unordered list and here we use the number of list and in between that we add links it means list of links here we add the path of the file and add the name of the menu and close this list we can add number of links in the list you can change 
the path of the file. So here we close the unordered list and close the nav bar. Save this file. If you want to add horizontal navigation bar, so we use the display property. First we make ally selector, list selector. In between that we use the display property. We use first inline value to display property. Inline value shows the horizontal navigation bar. Save this file and see the result on the browser window. All the link shows in horizontal. So this is horizontal navigation bar. You can also set the background color of the navigation bar, font size of the navigation bar. So we can add background color. And you can also set font size. Save this file and see the result. Horizontal navigation bar shows the background color and font size. Here we use the block value that shows the vertical horizontal bar. Here we use the block value to display property. So this shows the vertical navigation bar. Here the background color shows the full width. So we can change the value of width. Open the sublime text editor. Here we set the width by using width property that is 250 px and save this file and see the result on the browser window. Here we change the width value. So next is we can use different types of properties for navigation bar to look more attractive. Border divider. By using border property, we can add border to navigation bar. You can also set border left, border right, border bottom, border top. We can use border right property to list tag to create link divider so we use the border right property in this example and value is 2px that shows the width and solid is the border style and color is red and next is active current navigation link add an active class to current link to let the user know which link is on state so example is first we add the ally for list and a is used for link and we use active class you can add background color on active state so we use background color property and set the value of color if you want to hover on any link in navigation bar so we can use the below example here we use the ally for list a is for link and hover is a class if you want to change the color during hover so we use background color 
that is green and color is white next is fixed navigation bar you can create the navigation bar stay at the top or bottom of the page even when user scrolls the page first is fixed navigation bar at the top next is fixed navigation bar at the bottom if you want to fix navigation bar at the top so we use the position property and value is fixed and next is we use the top property and value is zero if you want to fix navigation bar at the bottom so we use position fixed and bottom value is zero and we set width is 100% so open the sublime text editor and use all these properties first we use the border right property for border divider and next we use for active current navigation link so li for list a for link and here we use the active class and we set the background color that is yellow you can also add the hover class if you want to change the background color while hover so we use background color property set value is green and color shows white if you want to fix the navigation bar at the top so we use ul selector and in between that we use the position property and value is fixed and we use top 0 and width is 100% save this file and see the result on the browser window here we shows the border right property and on hover background color changes you can also change the navigation bar at the bottom so we use the bottom property and save this file here we use the bottom property bottom value is 0 and see the result on the browser window navigation bar shows in the bottom if you want to change this navigation bar to horizontally so we change this value by inline save this file and see the result on the browser window this navigation bar shows in vertically and after changing the value by inline so the navigation bar shows horizontally in the bottom so thank you if you like this video so please like share comment and subscribe my youtube channel in next video we will discuss about advanced css keep watching happy learning thank you